fall film festival circuit has become hugely important for awards watchers. So by the time Toronto rolls around in September, you're coming off the heels of the Venice Film Festival and Telluride, where sort of the Oscar hopefuls are having their big debuts. So some of these movies have screened for like a select group of journalists, but this is the first time that the press is really seeing them. TIFF is a place where Best Picture winners are born and awards season narratives are cemented. Most of the Oscar Best Picture winners in recent years have played Toronto and some combination of the other festivals as well. These include Spotlight, 12 Years a Slave, Argo, The King's Speech, The Hurt Locker, Slumdog Millionaire, etc. I remember Toronto as being an important moment for Brie Larson at the start of the campaign for Room. You just saw the way that she kind of engaged with audiences. She was with her co-star Jacob Tremblay. You saw the way that she talked about the role and it just felt like something special was happening there. Last year, for example, heading into the film festival, La La Land, Moonlight, they had some heat, but at the screenings, you kind of got this vibe that like, okay, these are the main contenders. Last year after the Moonlight screening, the filmmakers participated in a Q&A afterward, and they were all, all up there on stage together, just being real, sharing their deepest feelings about what the movie meant to them. It was clearly something special, and you could see that this was a movie that was going places. And you also have the possibility of films that maybe were under the radar getting a special pop. Like last year, um, Lion really got a lot of attention because that's a very emotional film and you saw all these people walking out crying and when people are so affected by something, it can get a lot of buzz that travels back to LA and sort of sustains it, uh, hopefully until the Academy rolls around. Mm -hmm.